This morning, the Trump campaign says the president will attend Thursday night's debate despite a rule change that aims to avoid all those interruptions we saw in the first debate. The you question want to put is, a lot of the new question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you shut who is up, your, man? Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This time, a candidate's microphone will be turned off whenever his opponent is providing the initial two-minute answer to the debate questions. But both mics will be turned on during the open discussions that follow each answer. In a statement, the Trump campaign said the president is committed to debating Joe Biden regardless of last-minute rule changes, but the campaign slammed the debate commission, calling the changes their latest attempt to provide advantage to their favored candidate. Biden's team says the former vice president will spend today and tomorrow in Delaware preparing for the debate while President Trump embarks on a battleground blitz. At a campaign stop in Tucson, Arizona last night, Trump supporters chanted Superman as the president recalled his recovery from the coronavirus. People are pandemic out. You know that? They're pandemic out. That's why it's so great what your governor's done. He's opened up your state. You're doing great. A record 31 million Americans have already cast their ballot in the election. People lined up for hours in the Florida rain Monday on the state's first day of early voting. The biggest counties reporting strong turnout, including Pinellas County, where officials say more than 8,000 people cast their vote yesterday. That's nearly double the number on the first day of early voting in 2016. Meanwhile, in a significant blow to Republicans, the U.S. Supreme Court late Monday denied the party's request to block an extended deadline for mail-in ballots in the crucial state of Pennsylvania. With a split 4-4 four to -four decision, the court upheld a previous ruling that will require election officials in Pennsylvania to count ballots received up to three days after Election Day as long as they're postmarked by November 3rd. Republicans had argued the extension is an open invitation to cast ballots after Election Day and will create chaos and fraud. But Chief Justice John Roberts appears to have joined the three liberal justices rejecting the Republicans' request. In the meantime, Dr. Anthony Fauci is brushing off President Trump's latest attacks after the president called Fauci a disaster during a campaign call. People are tired of hearing Fauci and all these idiots he's these people, these people that have gotten it wrong. Fauci's a disaster. I mean, this guy, if I listen to him, we'd have 500,000 deaths. This morning, Fauci responding using a quote from The Godfather. I focus totally on the health and the welfare of the people of this country. That's the only thing I really care about. That other stuff, you know, it's like in The Godfather. Nothing personal, strictly business, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> you know, I just want to do my job and take care of the people of this country. Back to Thursday night's debate in Nashville. President Trump last night said he thinks the changes made to the debate and the topics are, quote, very unfair. He also lashed out at the moderator from NBC, claiming she's biased.